So as I said in my previous video about this being your own, this world of imagination is your own personal reality. This world within is yours and everything within it is yours. But um, what I hope is that when you enter into this personal reality, I hope that you seek out one thing and one thing alone, and that is God, the cause. I hope that you find the cause. When you go into the world of imagination, do everything you can to find the cause. And um, that's what I'm calling God. Don't find blame and don't find hatred. Don't find fault and don't find revenge. Don't find jealousy. Don't find shame and don't find fear. You don't have to f look for these things. Find the cause. Find God. And what you'll find is what I found is that the cause is me. I am. I'm the cause of all my experience within me. I'm finding the cause. And when I find the cause, no matter how horrific of a dream I have dreamt up, I'm still the cause of it. That means I'm greater than it. I'm its dreamer. And this is my dream or my nightmare. But find the cause. Don't seek anything else. And I think that finding blame is something that we tend to do that really I think is the most universal thing we do. Um, blaming something for how I feel or for how I am thinking. Because I can imagine anything. To blame someone for why I'm imagining something when there's no one else within me is um, going right back to sleep. So try to seek and find what the cause is. And you will find it's I am. No matter how bad of a nightmare, it's I am. It's always I am. And I want to share um, this thought that I had. And it's, if I am the cause of my experience, and I am experiencing thought, then I am the cause of thought. The cause cannot fear what he causes. He cannot fear his thoughts. Rejoice and cause a new experience. There is no other savior but I am, for there is no other being here. Find the cause. And I want to repeat that first part where it says, if I am the cause of my experience, and I am experiencing thought, then I am the cause of thought. And the reason why I find this so important is because uh, thoughts are things that people can be so afraid of. You know, they don't even realize that they're actively using their imagination to frighten themselves. But remember, you are the cause. The cause cannot fear. It's sort of like the creator cannot fear his own creation. The cause cannot fear what he's causing. So you don't need to fear any thoughts or states for that matter. Because through the law, as I said, through the law of forgiveness, you can just forgive yourself and enter a new state. And you should. Um, if you're expressing something you don't like, you are causing that expression. You can now cause a new expression. And you can change yourself. And, um, and really the only thing there... Since you are the only thing that's causing everything in here, the only thing there is to save is you. All you have to do is cause a new experience within yourself. And you can't be afraid of what you're causing. So fear no thoughts. Fear nothing within you because you're always greater than it. It has no power other than the power you give it. Truly. And, um... <clears throat> you know, Neville says, I want to quote Neville now, it says, If you believe that I am not he you shall die in your sins. He's quoting Jesus. And he says, unless, and then this is Neville speaking, unless man discovers that his consciousness is the cause of every expression of his life, he will continue seeking the cause of his confusion in the world of effects, and so shall die in his fruitless search. So, when you go within your mind, and you're having all these scenarios happening, or you're having all these things happening to you that you don't understand, or you're having intrusive thoughts, don't fear the thoughts don't find fear find the cause no matter what it is find the cause of it that's what you're seeking and what you'll find it's always going to be yourself so that's why there's no one to change but self you know leave the mirror alone and change self don't worry about the mirror what it's reflecting it's just reflecting it's nothing to be afraid of just change self and the next thing you know your whole imaginative world starts to re reshape itself persist in that world and have faith that that is who you are now. And um, what you'll find is that you'll naturally start to express it. I mean, there are times where I will just, um, I'll be, let's say I'm at the mall and um, I'm walking around and I start feeling, I won't even notice. I'm just feeling 
I'm not really aware of what I'm feeling. The next thing I know, I become aware of what I'm doing within myself. And I say, oh, well, I can feel better. I want to feel better for myself. The next thing I know, I just start having, I start feeling myself to be confident. Next thing I know, my shoulders fall back. I start walking in this confidence. I'm in this new state of mind. I just persist in that. And if the more you persist in, the more natural it becomes. But it's that simple to just change how you are to express it it's it just it's all natural it starts to naturally express it the moment you accept it as being done as being who you are it naturally starts to express and you don't have to do anything and um all you have to do is change the state but if you know you're the cause of all your states and you're the cause of all your expressions then all you have to do is change the cause but if you find blame or jealousy in another you know jealousy true this is really what jealousy is when you desire things within you and since everything within you has to express without, your desires are expressing without. So what you'll find is if you deeply desire something, somebody in your world will appear having the thing you want because it's expressing you. And then instead of realizing it's an expression, um, we tend to get jealous or we tend to blame them or bring them down because they have the thing we want. But everything is yours in imagination. Everything must express. Even the desiring self must express. But if you live in fulfillment, you won't, judge that if actually you'll probably be happy that they have it as well so it's all perception expressing itself from within to without but you don't need to find blame blaming things does not feel good you don't need to find blame all you have to do is find the cause which is to find the power the creative power and when you go within find that cause of everything within you if you're blaming something say who is blaming i am if you're fearing something, who's fearing i am and do I have to be afraid of this? No, because I'm the cause of this. You know, I've had nightmares where I've realized, I've woke inside of them realizing that I'm the cause of the, the nightmare and all I have to do is change myself. The next thing I know, the dream changes. It doesn't matter how horrific the dream was. I found the cause. I didn't look for fear. I didn't look for being stuck or how am I going to get out. I just saw, I looked for the cause of the dream. And I also want to quote one more thing of Neville that I find to be one of his most powerful quotes. Um... And he states, I may not like what I just heard, that I must turn to my own consciousness as to the only reality, the only foundation on which all phenomenon can be explained. It was easier living when I could blame another. It was much easier living when I could blame society for my ills or point the finger across the sea and blame another nation. It was easier living when I could blame the weather for the way I feel. But to tell me that I am the cause of all that happens to me, and I am forever molding my world in harmony with my inner nature, that is more than man is willing to accept. If this is true, to whom would I go? If these, words, uh, if these are the words of eternal life, I must return to them, even though, even though they seem so difficult to digest. When man fully understands this, he knows that public opinion does not matter, for men only tell him who he is. The behavior of men constantly tell me who I have conceived myself to be. And that's true in the world of imagination. And to enter in your mind, you'll see people are just doing what you're telling them to do. Find the cause. Don't find blame in another. And when you find the cause, you'll grant yourself more and more power within you. And you'll find yourself living in more and more of a stillness. So, um, truly, become the savior within yourself. And redeem everyone. Redeem yourself. Um, because regardless, you're the cause of either your destruction or your salvation.